already know who it is back at another video for you guys today. So we're gonna check out this video from Watch Mojo. Um, sorry, it took me a little long to watch this one. Uh, somebody wanted me to check this out. It's called Top 10 Creepiest Kids Toys of All Time. Now, let me tell you something. I was a kid before and I can tell you, I've seen some creepy ass dolls and shit in my day, okay? I hate porcelain dolls. I remember when McDonald's decided to um, go that route with their toy Happy Meal um, suggestion or selection and they were selling porcelain dolls. And I remember uh, with a Happy Meal that I got when I was younger, um, there was a little black boy porcelain doll and he was very creepy. And y'all, I kid y'all not right now. I just want to tell y'all this before we get into the video. I kid y'all not. I had him on my dresser, right? So he was facing straight. Let me tell y'all, when I woke up, his ass was looking at me. Because you know porcelain dolls, their eyes move. Right? Why was his head facing me? I don't know if my mama was trying to mess with me or something. But I ain't hear no footsteps or nothing. But all I know, that doll was in the trash, son, the next morning. Kid y'all not, but let's check this out, shall we? Top 10 creepiest kids toys of all time in about a three, two, one. Nothing's a toy. Not even the toy monkey. <sighs> Don't touch it. Welcome to Watch Mojo. Yeah, and today we're shit. counting down our picks for the you top black. 10 creepiest so kids so toys of all time. Tell me a joke. Knock, knock. Hey, Furby! I love you more than Bunny. Really you amazing, Amanda. She talks and really understands you. Yeah? yeah. I remember that It's not damn something that really you would think that would ever Never come out of a it, toy, but... but once I heard it, I was just it's kind of distraught. For this list, we're only it's looking at thing. toys that were intended for children and were mass produced and sold. We won't be including those made by artists or pranksters. Let us know in the comments which one has or will be giving you nightmares. Ages three and up, it's on my box. Number Ages two. three and up. Number 10, Furbies. What's that? Yeah, Furbies oh, never really like creeped me out. Over the years, Furbies have been rebooted and relaunched many times, making them a staple childhood toy for decades. But no amount of redesigns will ever make them less creepy. They will stare into your soul with those large dead eyes, and thanks to their language learning capabilities, they only get scarier over time. Hey. New Furby? Ooh, nice. You never Furbies know what's gonna you. happen. Sorry. You just gotta say. Sorry to watch that video, but, I mean, okay, I've, I've so they don't actually learn to speak, but that doesn't stop them from being so unsettling. Even worse, because the Furby craze took they the world by storm, few households are without a credits. decrepit Furby hiding in a box with somewhere. Beak and and big the practice eyes. of collecting and modifying Furbies has also taken off, with Furby fans actively making them I'm, even I'm, worse I'm, than I'm they were cool, already. Furby, eat so separately. Number 9. Hugo, Man of a Thousand Faces if you've ever he wondered why Mr. Potato Head is a vegetable rather than an uncannily realistic adult man, like this man is probably baby. why. In 1975, Kenner released Hugo, the, the Man of a Thousand Faces, out? a strange, bald puppet maybe that came with a variety of disguises. A it seemed to be a boy's equivalent to the dolls marketed to girls, which have always been highly customizable, but it mm -hmm. severely missed the mark. Hugo is a frightening companion straight out of an R.L. Stein story. You think? And his accessories include weird hair pieces, uh, fake glasses, a up. disturbing mask, and several look plastic wounds and injuries. Like Hugo is a great toy ass. for kids who thought that regular puppets just weren't awful enough. A great Number eight, Cupid dolls. I'm to get here. off this camera. Yeah, this is my badass Cupid doll collection. Gotta be the first man ever in the history of the world to say that. Absolutely. Yeah. I was gonna say These dolls originally just, went on was, sale over a hundred you know. years ago and uh -uh. have aged more poorly than other old toys. Like she'd be up at night looking at your Based on baby-faced cherubs, which can be unsettling in their own no right, Cupid dolls most often resemble nude babies in strange poses with weird facial expressions. Many and different no lines of Cupid dolls have been released as their popularity mm -hmm. waxes and wanes, but they always keep that nah, trademark Cupid creepiness. On the bright side, Open many of them are now valuable collectibles. So at least something good could come of keeping one in your house for years. I can't imagine okay. someone's probably gonna wanna take all of them in one shot, but I mean, uh, I have my there are some valuable but ones. Not that um, ass shit. Yeah, I could do a thousand. That'd be fine. All right, cool, man. Cool, thanks. Meet me over there and I'll write you up, right? Great. Number seven, Erwin the Little Patient. This toy is designed to teach he young children about anatomy. Though. But even with now. such noble intentions, 
the end result leaves much to be desired. Erwin looks like a standard I mean, kid's plushie at first glance, but if you take off his medical no. gown, you can unzip his torso and pull out all of his so internal basically organs. Operation, a While an burst, invaluable a tool in classrooms, burst. there's something undeniably disturbing about Erwin's placid facial expression and wide-open eyes while you shuffle his innards around. The gruesome contents of Erwin's belly I'm include good. the kidneys and bladder, lungs and heart, and the entire digestive system in one long soft tube. It's kind of gross. Number six, Amazing Amanda. I remember I love her you more than bunnies. These days, Alexa, Siri, and Google Home have taken over the tech market, helping people to organize right. their lives and stay on top of things. But what if you could have all that inside a plastic doll rather than a sleek cylinder? Amazing Amanda is just that. Well, we didn't Launched have back in 2005, back in before the craze of smart speakers, See, Amanda no was certainly ahead of her time. Silly mommy, cooking that for breakfast? It's amazing, she really knows. Bro, she can tell fuck? different objects apart, can speak That's to you, crazy. and more bizarrely, can identify her own fake poops. She even reminds you of what you're supposed to be doing. Who doesn't want a doll that knows where they are at all times? New Extra Amazing Amanda. She understands more than you know. Adult setup required. Therapy not included. Number five, Little Miss No Name. Uh uh. Seemingly Barbie's. Hold on. I just had to pause this real quick. Who in the hell would want Little Miss No Name in their house? Listen, I know we all have our fair share of whatever the hell we like. I have my collectibles. It's Marvel and Dragon Ball Z up in here with Harley Quinn, okay? Y'all done seen my post on my post that I made last night. But anyway, real quick, real quick, real quick, just be patient. And I know people, they collect shit like this, but what child would want this sad ass looking demonic, sad but demonic looking ass doll? Little <laughs> Miss No Name, okay? First of all, how the hell is she gonna have a damn teardrop coming out her eye and her eyes is red like fire, bitch? She look like she will burn your soul. Like she will, this, this, would, this, this is probably what she'll do. She will trick you with the tears. But the moment you look into her eyes, she will frown and make some type of weird screaming sound and eat you alive. And you will be dead. That's what I was saying. Because you failed. The bottom line, I wouldn't have this shit in my house. Time I brush my tear away. I thought it was wipe my tear away. What the hell are you brushing somebody's tear away for? How you gonna put a brush on somebody's eyelash? Somebody's eyeball, you can mess around and boop, poke it. Now your, your eye all fucked up. But anyway, back to the video. Evil cousin, Little Miss No Name was a doll marketed as being a homeless girl. And it was down to you, yes you, to take responsibility and find her a new home. Unfortunately, even if you she gave her no the best home in the world, it wouldn't change her permanently tears, distressed you know, expression. She even came with a lonely oh, teardrop on her cheek. Though she is endearing in her own strange way, she the like a marketing skeleton. meant that Little like Miss No Name never really took of off. Skull. Though she does Not make for an interesting collectible that. now. Huh? Maybe guilting people about neglecting a small child isn't I the best want way no to sell no toys? Number four, early Mr. Potato Head. Hugo was bad, but uh, the earliest uh. Mr. Potato Head sets had not perfected the disguise formula either. Mr. Potato Head, I made you, I made you, you know it's true. Mr. Potato Head, I made you. Rather than coming with a plastic potato for you to customize to your heart's content, they came with only the accessories, leaving it up to I'm you so to decide which fruit or vegetable you wanted to impale with googly issue. eyes and giant ears. He may be a friendly childhood icon now, thanks to you know Toy Story, shit, but in the beginning, white. these play sets were a great That's way to ruin a perfectly good meal. This, shit, uh, this toy uh. will leave you never wanting to eat a potato again. <laughs> Mr. Potato Fish! Mr. Potato Head and his pals! <laughs> Number three, put that Elmo knows pick. your name. Um, From spelling... Oh, I remember Shapes, being a, like a, to a little help with manners. Is that a selling point he, or a threat? Elmo might be one of Sesame Street's most popular and beloved characters, though that is a high bar. But that hasn't stopped toy manufacturers from doing everything in their power to make you hate him. This infamous toy was a mechanical version of Elmo that spoke to you, and yes, learned your name. The plush Elmo would then repeat your name back to you, sometimes completely unprompted and perhaps even in the dead of night. There was even one notorious case of Elmo reportedly saying he was going to got. kill the boy Damn. he belonged to, which upset the boy's mother when she heard her son repeating it. Okay, yeah, what in the child's play is going on It's not on something here. that really you would think that would ever come out of a toy, but once I heard it, I was just 
was kind of distraught. Number two, Jolly Chimp. Now a horror movie cliche that's yeah, been around for decades. It's difficult to imagine a time when this threatening primate was ever a even legitimate toy someone this. would give to a child. Nothing's a toy. Not even the toy monkey. I wouldn't give that to my child. I know that. If I had kids, Don't touch it. No. Now but every villain some. has an origin story. When the symbol banging yeah, no. monkey toy is activated, it looks as though it's been possessed with a manic grin and perpetually bloodshot eyes. <laughs> ah! Look at the back. Uh uh. Nope. <sighs> Nowadays, seeing this mechanical chimp clap its percussive instruments together is a definite bad omen. Warning that doom and angry poltergeists might be on the way. Since it's not clear monkeys, exactly why watching the chimp scream and bang cymbals together okay. would be a good pastime for a kid. Excuse me. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some creepy honorable Who mentions. The hell would want Face it? bank. You'll never want your money. Hold on. Who in the fuck would want this shit? A face bank? So what is this, like a little piggy bank with a creepy ass face on it? Bruh, who is making these toys? Huh? Who the hell would want that? Who in the hell want that shit? The motherfucker got is a pink box. Pink ass eyes. And them eyes look re reptilian at that. This look like the fucked up version of the goddamn Teletubbies in this bitch. What the fuck is going on? Who the fuck would want that? Like, is this supposed to be like a creepy replacement for a regular piggy bank? Because if it is, I don't want it. I will take a basic ass, old school ass, regular pig piggy bank before I go home with this shit. That motherfucker gonna wake up talking to you back after this piggy bank has eaten it. The Bones Family. What could be more fun than a skeleton <laughs> with a child's head? Holy the Bones God. Family. Ooh, what's this? I must have been too young for this shit. There is the most awesome toy I've ever seen in my life. Oh. Want more Mojo? Ms. Mojo produces original high quality pop culture related videos on all your favorite movies and shows. Plus, celebrity news, fashion, lifestyle, and more. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Ms. Mojo. My name is Sam. My name is Eliza. And I'm Emily. I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Ms. Mojo. If you want videos on all the best reality shows, teen dramas, Disney movies, and sitcoms, be sure to check out Ms. Mojo for new videos every day. Number one, Baby Laugh-A-Lot. <laughs> no. If you've always dreamed of combining what appears to be haunted dolls and haunted rocking chairs, then look no further than Baby Laugh-A-Lot, Remco's doll from the early she 70s. Look like Annabelle, Baby Laugh-A-Lot will violently mouth. cackle and rock back What's and forth that? with a permanent smile on her face. You just push the button and she starts she's to like giggle. a duck. <laughs> The original commercial doesn't try to make it any less scary either, showing everybody in its presence infected nah, by I'm laughter. Good. And it's easy to imagine it becoming a ghastly monster after dark. Hello, John. Over here. We all know. Hi. It's me, so Chucky. Long, John. What do you think? Remco well, quickly went out of business boy. after the launch of the toy. Was it simply a misfire, or did Baby laugh a lot send the company to don't even look that damn creepy grade? compared to her ass. Do you I'm just saying, y'all something. <laughs> Some of these, I was, I'm glad I, my ass was way, wasn't even born yet with that damn Baby laugh a lot. She got the mouth of one of them old school like rubber ducky toys and shit. That's what the fuck she looked like. She was giving me a little bit of Dolly Dearest tease too. Some of these, you can't tell me some of these like toy creators, they didn't have some type of demonic sense of humor when they was making some of these toys because who in the hell would want to give that a uh, damn baby laugh a lot to a child this creepy looking ass doll who just rocks around laughing and shit all damn day who in the hell want that in their house and plus it was um speaking of that ammo situation uh there was another toy with like some controversy uh the toy was saying me or something i'm like And I'm like, this is this is the problem, y'all. You have sick, twisted people making these types of toys and shit. There is no way in hell Elmo ass out of all people, Elmo, not to mention a toy at that, is around here talking about some I'ma kill you to a boy, a child, period. 
Like they, they bring in child's play to reality? Is that what's going on? Because we all know the whole, if you've seen child's play, you know where I'm going with this. I'm your friend to the end type of shit. Is that what the hell they doing? Come on now. And that Mr. Potato Head, yeah, that shit was definitely, that was, that had to be old as fuck. Because that shit was in black and white and it just looked old. These kids was literally putting noses and eyes and mustaches and eyebrows and hats and shit on real potatoes. I was so glad we got, I got the Toy Story version. Okay, 96 baby and proud. I don't give a flip. I don't, because I don't know what the hell that shit was. No, ma'am, no thank you. What was another one on here? Um... Oh yeah, that damn, that little, what was, what was it called? Little Cry, Don't Cry On Me Doll, Little Miss No Name. Let me tell you something, you damn right. There will not be a Little Miss No Name. There will be a Little Miss Hell to the No because I will not have that shit at my house. I mean, just look at that damn doll. First of all, like I say, she already sad. What you trying to make your kids depressed? Be sad along with her thing and the doll is talking to her? Saying, nobody's gonna ever love me or you. Nobody's happy. No, he's gonna listen. And she got red eyes. What about that should be appealing to that for a child? Unless he is Damien from the Omen. Y'all saw that shit? I saw that shit. Like I was saying earlier, one of the creepiest toys slash dolls for me was porcelain, porcelain dolls. Never. Never will own one, never the fuck ever, okay? Like, I literally have three Funko Pops of um, Five Nights at Freddy's characters. I got Foxy, Freddy, and Chica. Uh, for some reason, I never got Bonnie, but you know, I, that could change. But like, seriously, I could have shit like that. But as far as porcelain dolls, let me tell you something. I will never have a doll, period, that, walk, that will just sit in the room and their eyes will go where you go. You can't tell me that's not creepy. You cannot tell me that's not creepy or creepy, whatever. You cannot tell me that shit ain't creepy. Like a doll just sitting there watching you. Because the next thing you know, you wake up at three o'clock in the morning. Yes, specifically three o'clock in the damn morning. And this doll is, you had it sitting on the damn chair. Now it's by the edge of your bed and you don't know what to do. Okay? And... And it wasn't necessarily a toy out there, but it was from a film. I mentioned this film quite a few times in my videos, Billy from Dead Silence. Um, he alone made me for sure want, didn't want anything to do with dolls. Porcelain dolls, puppets like that, nothing at all. I mean, Billy alone, even without Mary Shaw, is just creepy. You know, because like I said before, I was 11 years old when I first saw um, dead silence and it was just a mess Billy ass was just sitting there he did one of them his mouth opened up and shit like that them eyes you know how he'll do he'll just and then he'll look at your ass and let you know you're next motherfucker you're next and for sure Annabelle <laughs> Annabelle the way they had her looking in the Conjuring movies and her own movies too. I wouldn't want nothing to do with that. I imagine just going in a room. Long, you see a long ass hallway and Annabelle sitting right there in that damn chair. What you gonna do? You gonna go and pick her little ass up? Nope, I'm gonna take my ass up about a here. All right, got to go. Uh-oh, wrong apartment. That's what the fuck you got to do. Wrong room, wrong room. And compared to some of these, like that laughable baby, and they just showed a clip of Chucky. Chucky looks way more eye settling and everything than laughable uh, baby lot. Okay. Because she gave me Dolly Dearest. I never seen that movie, but uh, I saw a clip of it. But I was like, yeah, I'm not watching this shit. Like if you, if I had to name like some of the creepiest dolls I've seen in the years, uh, it was definitely Pinocchio from Pinocchio's Revenge. Have y'all ever seen that? Like his ass, was, that was a thick ass doll too. I'm like, damn, we've come a long way with, with puppets and stuff look like. Uh, <laughs> now back in the day, I didn't want nothing to do with Chucky. That's for damn show. Sure. I told y'all that before. Um, Annabelle, um, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. 
and you can put uh, Miss Laugh of a Baby lot. You can definitely put her up in there because that's not an appealing toy to me. Like if I was a kid, I damn sure wouldn't want that. Hell no. But nevertheless, I could definitely agree with this list, but that uh that little other baby doll with the blonde hair, the commercial I was just talking about, I, I didn't really get creeped up creeped off from that. Um I just remember seeing that commercial and stuff, you know. I did I might have saw in this uh Toys R Us. Damn, yeah, I miss Toys R Us so bad. Um but all these kids now, they want this, all this electrical shit. But whatever, you know, different generation. But I never got creeped out by a Kirby doll, none of that. But, you know, we all have our differences. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please, please, please hit the like button, comment below your thoughts. What's some of, like, the creepiest, what's some of the creepiest toys have you guys seen over your years, especially growing up in your childhood, even now as an adult, if you're watching this right now. Um, and if there's anything else I can react to for you guys, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on my Instagram, hit that notification bell so you guys know after you have loaded. Thank you all for watching this video and stay tuned for some more Madness Combat videos, as I told y'all. But I will see y'all in the next one. It's Taylor Rain. I'm out.